In this video, we're going to complete example one, which is a declining balance depreciation question. In this example, we have purchased a Toyota Corolla new for $21,990. That's our purchase price, so V0 equals $21,990. It then says that it depreciates at a rate of 15% per annum. So we'll write that as our interest rate. 15%, remembering that we have to write our interest rate as a decimal, which means dividing it by 100. This gives us 0 0.15. Okay, so question A is asking you to find the salvage value of the car after five years, meaning that N equals 5. So we're just going to plug this into our formula. S equals, first we see V0, so we need to write down that amount, 21,990 open up our brackets, 1 minus R this time, not plus, so R being 0 0.15, and putting this to the power of N, which is 5 years here. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my calculator, and I'm just going to work this out, so 21,990 times bracket, 1 minus 0 0.15, close the brackets, and we'll put this to the power of 5, and it equals 9,757, 9,757 dollars, and uh, O will round it up to 08, or 8 cents, which is the salvage value of the car. It's what I could sell it for in five years' time. If I wanted to, I could also call this V5, meaning the value of the car after five years. Anyway, let's move on to question B. It says, as a general rule, they say a car will be worth 10% of its original value after 10 years. Is this true for the Toyota Corolla? So if I was to find 10% of the, the original value of the car of 21,990, all I would do would, would be just to take the zero off at the end. So it'd only be worth $2,199 after 10 years. Is this is this true in this situation? Well, let's check it out. Let's figure out what will happen after 10 years. I'm going to substitute the exact same values into my formula. The only thing that's going to change here is the amount of time. Instead of 5 years, this time it's 10. So let's see what happens when we do that. 21,990 times bracket 1 minus 0.15, close the brackets, and then we put this to the power of 10. What do we get? $4,329, and uh, let's round it to 27 cents. So we can see in this situation that the Corolla is not going to be worth 10% of its original value after 10 years. It's going to be worth more than that. So for the statement, is this true for the Toyota Corolla, we'll say no, it will be worth more than 10%. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.